Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 8, Fiona and Cake. Last we saw, what was the name of the episode? Oh, The Star. We got The Star. Marceline was The Star. I usually go and I edit the episode, and then I jump into the next one. But I got up so early, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. I don't have the luxury of having re-watched it during my edit, which is normally what I do. So, I didn't catch anything that I didn't already probably talk about in the first part. Also, this is the longest episode I think so far. Even after I skipped the intro and everything, it was still a solid 25 minutes. Most of them aren't even 25 minutes before I even do the HBO Max thing. I also realize no sense in starting at the HBO Max when we could skip right ahead since I skipped the intros anyway. Last we saw, we had to bamf out of there. We broke the remote. It still worked. We had the Vampire King who had the Ice Crown and a world where vampires and Marceline won. Did Marceline win? Because in the end... It literally ended on her and PB looking like they plummeted to their death together, lying to each other that they both cared for one another. And we told PB, alternate PB, but Marceline, I think, knew it. She was talking about it with her minions. Clearly had a thing for PB. We also had baby Finn sneak into our pack accidentally. At first, I thought we did it. I thought we intentionally took baby Finn from his world. I'm thinking, what is wrong with you people? After we just talked about how, oh my God, these are real people. I've been murdering bananas and other food type people and not caring about it. Then you go steal a baby from his world, but it ends up it's not the case. Then I thought, since we saw Martin Mertens being the greatest version he could ever be, I thought we were going to see us be like, yo, here's baby Finn. You could take care of him because we got shit to do. And he dies horribly. There's been two scenes that have reminded me of The Last Crusade. Two episodes ago when Simon just like got the life sucked out of him and he died in her, her arms and then thrown and poofed into dust. This is kind of what happened to Martin minus the dust. And Huntress was here. We had Huntress the whole episode just sharpening shit. It looked like that world was won by the Vampire King because we plummeted to our death and, and bailed. The Scarab is looking for us. He's ignoring signals we saw the cosmic owl could be making an appearance and prismo is still in a cube in a tub let's just jump in we'll talk more at the end you guys want to see more of what i do in the description of every video is a link for patreon you'll see these in full every episode all of adventure time distant lands this will be done next week two episodes left we'll finalize it all i hope i pray that someday this will be the vision of my happiness i hope we get a season two. This was fantastic. Way better than I could have imagined, honestly. I didn't know what I expected, but I didn't expect this, and this is amazing. Gremlins animated show was amazing, too. Also on HBO Max. We're also starting Chucky season three right after this ends in the description link for Patreon. Full unedited episodes. If not, Fiona and Cake season one, episode eight. Oh my god, is that a Betty? Uh, step carefully, Betty. These rocks are We got a Betty. Yeah! See how the outside? Is <laughs> that the sun? I feel like that was in his flashbacks, right? Great! We left Monster World and ended up in Crap World. This is a pretty desolate place. I could have taken that crown. It's all your fault. I think she could have. Yeah, it's I think my Kate fault. You're not could've. dead. I'm gonna go stretch my legs. I mean, it could have been bad. Be careful. Cherry. Why do I feel like I should know what Jerry is? Oh, we going to cosmic levels? Cosmic Owl, I feel like. Scarab. You're up, mate. You're up, mate. So the Scarab did go back. He was getting so called by art. higher powers. I saved Marceline by putting on the crown, but it could have easily backfired. She wasn't always an indecipherable goddess of chaos, the most amazing human I've ever met. Oh, what are we gonna find? Oh my god, it's a thin treehouse of horrors. Wait, the gem Look to at be the gem. found. Dr. Petrikov, you can't actually believe that these objects exist. What are you gonna look for Ooh. next? Magic beans? <laughs> the Enchiridion. Here it is. <laughs> it's Betty, Betty Groff. Um, I was wondering if you could sign my book. I wish I had run into you sooner. <laughs> Maybe you should come on this next expedition with me. I'll go with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I he was asking, met. but Cake. fell ah! immediately in love. What is happening here? Is there like 
Apologies, no. cat. I goofed you in the spirit of fun. A robot? Bemo? Yes. Where is I everybody? Bemo. They are around. Be right Except back. For football. Football. Does this world have a magic crown? Oh, yeah. The Ice King. He lives in the Ice Kingdom. Where's the ice? Oh, yeah. That's weird. Orbo, if I could just have more time. <laughs> Prismo has made his own secret, unauthorized <laughs> universe. Nah. That guy's cool. He wouldn't do that. Why don't I give them a call? Just be cool! Hey, that's my friend Jerry's place. Jerry's cool and tall and makes funny jokes. What up, Who's Bimo? Jerry? It's you the episode title. The dog you never finished telling your great love story. <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> what she if it works badass. for her and he got attacked oh, honey, by all of them? We are home. Hey, I found some dirty tapes. Ooh, butt stuff. Butt stuff. Oh my god. I was like, did I hear that right? Hello. You hear that, Gunter? I put the crown inside my kick drum. Did he forget to Wait, put it back on or something? That's what he was like with the crown? <laughs> uh, any luck? I know someone who can fix it. My friend, Princess Bubblegum. <gasps> Let's hit the road. <laughs> Look, there's the kick drum. There's the crown. I see it. I freaking see it. She even saw it in the video. Hey, Gunther, I'm putting it in the kick drum. Did you find the Enchiridion? Ready? I I I'm going to hang back. But I wouldn't have found it without your help. Goodbye, Petrikov. story is sad. Yes. No, no, don't worry. You haven't heard the best part yet. All of this is actual candy? There you are. Help me zip up my bra. Yes, my lady. I'm gonna go eat chocolate. Cake, no! I'm gonna! Everyone was a skeleton. Then, Jerry came. Now, to business. Huh, Jerry? Hey. What is Jerry? We blew it! We blew it! Yeah, ah! My Fiona, it's okay. I'm sorry. Why did I think I could do this? So that was that. Betty and I went our separate <laughs> ways back to our own lives. Oh, <laughs> his own ass. <laughs> Quiet. Does that be my Actually, choice? What I really want to say is you're not only brilliant and dedicated, but you're charming and fun. He's and running kind -hearted. her down. I'll go do my own things. But I kind of wish I could be by your side all the time. Love, Does he Teddy. just miss her? YCP five five four seven. Ah! Ah! Ooh, killed her. Mother. Sorry. Uh, can I speak to Betty? You can probably still catch her at the bus stop. I uh, I found your note. Uh, I'm sorry. It was a stupid note. I no. was. Betty, your note wasn't stupid. It was incredible. Thank God. I'm like, please finish it correctly. So you got on the bus with her? Yep. Uh, well, no. What if you use my robot heart to jumpstart this broken piece of trash? But it would take the bravest little heart the world has ever known. Bemo. Behold my naked in arms and the heart of a hero! Could this really work? Don't worry, Finn. I have never failed anything. Yes, feels great! It's working! <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god! Bemo! That is so horrible. Oh my god, we did kill. Oh. Farewell, you little miracle. You little miracle. Bebo has died. But Bebo we tried. Talk about that Jerry guy a lot. Maybe we should find him and tell him the bad news. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. What is it? That was our song. You and me, we got something to lose. Betty and Simon are making me think it has some connection. That's where my head's going. Jerry! Ew. They're going down. Could it be like Nettie? Oh, look! Run! Oh, the lich! It's the lich! Oh my god, it's the freaking lich! You can't lich. see the boss. I'm not Prismo. I respect your authority. Let me finish my job. Nice speech. Say goodbye to your legs. Huh. What? <laughs> Say goodbye to your legs. In olden days, I would have rewarded your insolence with death a thousandfold. He seems really depressed. Jerry's freaking terrifying! He's called the Lich. 
the last scholar of gold. Shoot, I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this. What? Oh, she you did have get to it. She got it. Time? No, just since the Ice King place. There's got to be another way. She Something. did go get it. I was going to say, my uh, God, I can't wait, believe we listen. left it. You hate everything in that city. Everybody dies. Shouldn't they get to die as themselves? I am myself. Like this. It's going to be fine. Oh my god, we're gonna use the, the lich we'll use as a conductor. Ready to jump back into my noodle? We're gonna do it right now? That's quick. Reveal the path and grant me passage. Reveal the path and grant me passage. Reveal the path and grant me Go, go, go. Reveal the path and grant me passage. Goodbye, son. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna... <laughs> Gold? Gulb. Is that a gold thing with poison skulls? All right, guys, that is it for episode eight. What a great way to end it. We got gold. There's got to be a gulbish vision in their dreams that we just saw at the end credits there. But the scarab was let go. We also see the lich. I'm kind of half mad at myself, even though that was a great little twist the apocalyptic looking world where everything is gone. I should have known it was the lich because the lich seeks utter destruction so in the end we see the lich at first i thought it was billy either way we get the lich the lich is depressed and has just given up because life as we know it doesn't exist bemo is the only left thing bemo and bemo has gone completely nuts i like how at first i thought bemo got normal because bemo's like yeah i haven't seen football in a while football we know who football was, the alternate version of BMO. But because BMO said that, I'm like, oh my God, did BMO have to get forced into growing up, forgetting about all this, and now is the most sensical BMO? But no, instead, BMO is also the bubblegum princess. BMO's talking about Jerry. BMO then hot wires the remote and goes, yeah, don't worry, I've never failed. I'm thinking the whole thing's adorable and that BMO is going to save the day and save the world's potentially and all of a sudden it's like nope made a mistake head blows off is on fire its brain bemo's brain is on fire and it basically exploded i'm thinking how do we fix this and the next thing you know we're burying bemo in this world so bemo outlived everything on the planet and then we came on the scene and basically killed him unintentionally obviously but bemo is dead so we bury bemo we go let's go find jerry now i'm thinking what is Jerry. I was thinking Bimo was also Jerry, just like Bimo was the bubblegum princess. But now, obviously, Jerry's got to be somebody, unless it's just a skeleton of a person. And it is, but it's the Lich. So we use it as a conductor, like we did with Choose Goose. We do the ritual. And Fiona and Kate go back in our head. Everything happens so quick at the end there. But the Scarab got a phone call right before Orbo. Great speech, dude. We're going to take your legs now. Hilarious. He gets the call. He gets sent back. He gets the opportunity to save everything. And right before Simon puts the crown on, Golb took them. The ground opened up. They got sucked in. The Lich was watching. Maybe the Lich was such a powerful conductor. They did say that the Lich was the right hand or the, the second in command to Golb. So I have to assume using him as the conductor allowed Golb to see what was going on. And now Golb is intervening. It also is quite possible that Gulb has to step in at this point because we are screwing with alternate universes everywhere. We saw in the Marceline world, one of the things turned into garlic. One of the uh, VX poison gas that it looked like from The Rock with Nicolas Cage. One of them turned into garlic. Things are like pixelating out and bamfing into other things. Things are colliding very similar, kind of like to the new Flash movie, if you saw that, where the multiverses were smashing together and things were like altering similar to that, I guess. Obviously, Gulb is going to be in the next episode, but it's Betty Gulb. Betty is now Gulb, and all we did was go to flashbacks this whole episode. I said something is going to have to connect to the flashbacks with Betty and Simon in this episode because otherwise... Why would they keep showing it? They always foreshadow things that come very soon. If it wasn't Jerry, what was it? And it was that Betty Gulb. They're trying to show how much in love Betty and Simon were, how much Betty did love Simon before Simon even thought she even recognized him or, or noticed him kind of thing. So great stuff. I'm very excited. As you can see, I'm very excited to see the next week. Next week is the finale, the two-part finale. So we're not even going to get to talk about it 
until after it's over. But you guys want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these in full on edited everything Adventure Time Distant Lands. I also am doing Once Upon a Time now. I edited one up right around the same time as this so you guys could see that. Gremlins animated show amazing. We're starting Chucky season three. Full on edited. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.